girls, what's up? And welcome back to Ika YouTube. I am so excited because in the holidays, A Second Chance Rivals, which is the sequel to my all-time favorite gymnastics movie, A Second Chance, is coming out. It was a recent Netflix obsession. So when we heard the sequel, A Second Chance Rivals, was coming, we were cartwheeling. Hey. A Second Chance Rivals suits all ages, and it is... Like, including all these current issues like racism, bullying, and cyberbullying, of course. While keeping our old cast favourites like Kate, Shane, and Beth, who are all returning. Maddie is also back, this time in a more senior role. But we can't give too much away. The new cast are amazing, especially Stella Shoot, who plays Kate and Shane's young daughter, Tess. From its thrilling highs to its sad lows, A Second Chance Rivals is an awesome, uplifting movie from start to finish that all girls will love. So, so check out an awesome film clip from the movie followed by an exclusive It Girl interview with Emily Morris. Now we were the only magazine that got to go behind the scenes and interview some of the cast, which is so, so, so cool. Now I hope you guys enjoy this. It was about nine months ago or eight months ago, so I look a little bit younger, but I still hope you guys really, really love this. It was so much fun. Let's check it out. This interview is for Emily Morris. You might like know her as Maddie from A Second Chance, <laughs> and she will also play Maddie in A Second Chance 2. So, hi Emily, so what have you been up to since A Second Chance? I have been doing bits and pieces of acting. So after A Second Chance, I was in Raising the Bar, and then from there went on to do Going for Gold, which is the cheerleading movie. Um, and yeah, in between then, just been doing little bits and pieces of work, Bit of work in acting, bit of work in radio, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, keeping busy. <laughs> it's been seven years since we met Maddie, so obviously she's not a little kid anymore. But how else do you think she's changed? Maddie, wow, she's grown up a lot. Um, without giving away too much of the storyline, she um, faces you know a lot of adversity since the first movie, and. Um, you know, toughs it out through the Olympics and everything. And um, so now she's back, and for um, a reason I can't tell you, she's um, back to coaching a team. So yeah, lots and lots of changes, growing up a lot. How do you feel when you watch the first film and see yourself so young? Does it feel like a lifetime ago or just yesterday? It feels like a lifetime ago for sure. I haven't seen the film um, for quite a long time now, but I must say, obviously, I, I look a lot different, so I get really surprised when um, little kids who watch it recognise me. So I'm like, I think I look so different, but obviously not that different. But yeah, it definitely feels like a very, very long time ago. Can you tell us about Maddie in A Second Chance 2 and what she's up to? Oh, what's Maddie up to? Without giving away too much, again, <laughs> she is coaching now. So not competing so much anymore but more coaching hmm. <laughs> so in the first movie maddie struggled a little bit with self-confidence what is confidence what's her confidence like in this sequel i think her confidence is it, it, it does drop down a bit there's some stuff that happens there's some real moments in the movie where her confidence really it's a bit of a slump again but um, throughout the journey of the film she finds ways to regain that confidence and back it up again and yeah. So what advice do you have for young girls that struggle with self-confidence? Oh, I My biggest piece of advice is just love yourself. I read a really um, beautiful quote last night actually that said um, just because you think someone else is beautiful doesn't mean you're not. Flowers are very beautiful and then so are Christmas lights and they're two very different things. So my biggest piece of advice is you just got to work with what you've got and just love yourself because you know you're here once, you've got one life so make the most of it. Do the new young cast come to, for you, to you like for tips and advice? If so, what have you shared with them? Yeah, they've been really great. A lot of the um, girls, this is their first um, project they've worked on so like me in a second chance um, I feel like I was really like a mama to them <laughs> on set which is lovely answering all their little questions and stuff and just small things like if they get stuck on 
you know, the circumstance of the scene or something or a bit, it can be hard because you're shooting different scenes in a day. You're going from uh, the beginning of the storyline to the end and it's good for them to have a reminder of, um, you know, whereabouts we are in the storyline. So, was there any other doubt that you wouldn't be a part of the sequel, or that you would be, or was it like a nice surprise for you? Like, how did it, it come? It was. Um, Clay, the director, actually um, mentioned to me one day, he's like, oh, I'm, I've been suggested to write a second chance too. And my initial thoughts were, cool, but like, what? Like, the movie sort of ended, like, what, how is it going to go on from there? But with the time gap and... Um, because it's been so long, there was just this like great storyline sitting there that just has worked so perfectly. I've been so surprised with how well the storylines come together um, from the initial idea to obviously filming it now. It's been awesome, but yeah, it was a big surprise at first. The last thing I would have expected was for them to see a follow-on because it sort of ended so neatly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, do you have any like on-set funny moments you can share with us? On-set funny moments. I there is a lot, especially when everyone's really tired. Um, everything just seems so much more funny now. But um, it's been a funny one this time. I mean, I'm hanging around like 11, 12 year old girls all day every day and they are just hilarious <laughs> the stuff they come up with but um more so like lots of personal jokes and that sort of stuff which you guys probably would not find funny but we certainly do <laughs> other than films how much is gymnastics a part of your life is it something you still enjoy well the funny thing was i have never done gymnastics in my whole life so in a second chance i had a stunt double her name was Teeny, and she was amazing. Like she was going to gym school, like a top gymnast, um, and she just happened to look a lot like me. So funnily enough, in the audition, they were auditioning actors, men they were auditioning actors who could do gymnastics, and they they gave us a form saying, "Oh, like what gymnastics can you do?" And I I was just like, "I can't do any. Like, what's the point of even auditioning, Mum? Like, tell them I've got a headache. I can't be bothered. Don't see the point." And then yeah happened to get the role they were happy to give me a stunt double and so I actually I learned a lot about gymnastics on set I was able to by the end of it do a kip on the bars which was a really big deal for me <laughs> um, and then yeah I finished second chance I thought that would be sort of the end for me and gymnastics but then raising the bar was about gymnastics and now we're back again so I was saying to someone earlier today it would have been ideal if I just actually did gymnastics when I was like 12 <laughs> would have been in a much better position now but no I love gymnastics especially for something that I've never really done. What is it like shooting here in Adelaide in the summertime? Hot. It has been really hot. Um, we were filming right in the middle of a heat wave last week, which was super duper hot. Um, but it's not too bad. Like, get the air cons on and lots of cold water, lots of heat stuff hydrated. Um, and I personally prefer the heat over the cold any day. so. Whenever I start to want to complain about it, I like just don't. It could be freezing cold. <laughs> yeah. Lastly, what do you think viewers will love about A Second Chance 2? I think that this movie is really going to take viewers by surprise. There's a lot of action and drama jam-packed into this film. And it's not really your typical girl isn't doing great, gets bullied, overcomes the bullying and then wins. There's a lot more to it this time. So I think they're going to be really surprised with the movie. Thank you, Emily, so much for your time. I can't wait to see the movie. Awesome. Thanks so much for the chat. Bye. See ya. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed interviewing Emily Morris. She was so cool and so, so nice. So make sure you stay tuned for next week as well where I interview Eva, Stella and, of course, India. If next week's already passed, it will be in the description down below. So make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell, and catch us next week. Bye, guys!